Meta released an open source model that can turn any image into a 3D avatar and scene and no one is talking about that cause it's still a hidden gem and in this video I'll show you different kind of examples I generated myself that can turn your any kind of image any product into a 3D rendered model and this video is gonna be really interesting cause you can also use this model on your local machine um, and you're watching skill curve so first simple go to the ai demos.meta.com website if you are finding it hard you can just find the link it's in the description and once you get here you can see a very simple interface with different kind of video examples we can ignore this them for a second and here are the four methods first is a video cutout image cutout we will talk about these things in different videos if you want these videos just comment us and we will try to make them and this today's topic is the 3d scene and 3d bodies first we'll cover 3d scenes then we'll go to the 3d bodies in the latter part of the As video. we enter in the 3D video model, here you can see a very simple step-by-step uh, -step process. You have to first upload your image, then you have to select the object, and then you can create your 3D model. Sounds fun, right? Let's see. Alright, so first I took a pic of this chip uh, and all this background of chip. So what we need to do is now we have to first do the next next step of this tutorial. And after that, we have to select the part we want the 3D version of. So for example, I selected this chip, the entire packet and it it selects automatically so you don't have to work hard on by selecting manually and once you click on generate 3d button it will generate a 3d model it takes a very less time by the way so yeah that's the best thing about this thing and now the model is generated and i can say for the very sure that this is one of the best use case of generative ai where we can actually use a 3d object now let's get some more detail on this i can see the wrapper is actually movable by 360 degree the chips are also looking very crispy yellowish and the packet was red so yeah he copied the red one and overall i can say that meta did something really interesting here like literally you you can see yourself we just have to move entire model and it's moving perfectly not only that we can also do a lot of stuff with this so let me tell you more about that for you can also click on add effects button and once you click on that add effects button it will take you to the option of four options where you can use 3d effects you can also use environment effect if you click on environment effect like dune or different kind of inverse so it also can apply color look you can look that it's not bluish so yeah that's the different kind of effects you can play with it but i don't find it very much better this is pixelated effect so if you want to blur some part you can also do that this is background image by the way so yeah if you want to change the background of that model to when you want to scroll to the 3d person you can can also do that for example i selected the night sky and look at that the night sky looks seriously pretty so now i know we got an idea how to use this thing now we will see different kind of fast paced examples i generated for you so you get an idea of where this model is heading towards okay so i took an image of diet coke and downloaded it not diet coke it's a normal coke by the way so i downloaded it from the google and i uploaded it to the same platform and now it's time to generate the 3d version of this and it's gonna be really interesting by the way so i simply click on the generate 3d button and it started generating the again the same model and one thing i can notice here that that this entire texture is not very good like the coca-cola text is not still very visible so i think it's the same problem that ai is not good with this entire text thing but if we just remove that text and texture part and the text part i can say that can design and that overall stuff is pretty genius by the way like if you look at the top facade of that can you can also see the same opener you will find in the different kind of coke like for example let me zo zoom that and okay you can see that so what i'm trying to say is that ai is one of the best use case when it comes to generating 3d models of that image however the text is still very bad and i can say that the text is one of the worst part of this video but still if we just improve that for the next model maybe meta ai did something really incredible here okay let's see another example because we have plenty of examples by the way so this example is pretty different okay i just took an image of a eiffel tower and a car it's i don't know it's bugatti i guess yeah i'm bad with cars by the way so apologize so yeah so one thing we can see once we select the car here we must just one click and the entire car is selected once we click on generate 3d 
Oh gosh, I think this is one of the best example of this video. Look at this car. This is so, so real. Whether it's color, branding, and you know, the entire model. I can say that it used to take a lot of time to design such 3D car manually and now it's in front of you. Like I remember if you used to design these cars on Blender on Autodesk Maya, it used to take so much time that you get pissed off. Now okay, for example, if you want to select that behind Eiffel Tower, you can also click on that add object button and once you click on that add object button, you can simply just select that Eiffel Tower and it will take some time and again render it. Okay, one thing I can say that Eiffel Tower did not look really good. It generated half Eiffel Tower. I was expecting the entire one, but even if we just forget that thing, the color, the texture, the the overall design is looking really, really premium. I don't know the distance between car and Eiffel Tower is programmed or what but overall i can say this model is doing pretty well it's time to see another image examples because we have plenty of guys come on okay so this one is pretty close to my heart because it is in the kitchen so what we did is we just took the image of a kitchen and we selected some of the things like you know coffee making machine the cup the waiting machine and we just selected them one by one however it was pretty hard to select each one by one sometimes but once it generated it blew my mind like look at this this is seriously good i can see that coffee and all that stuff looking seriously good the glass the texture overall that waiting machine it's, 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 it's incredible i can say for an open source model this kind of expectation is insane and people who are going to use these models are going to be hedge way ahead than the people who don't now one thing i did not select that coffee machine now i will select that coffee machine and now you can see that example and this looks seriously good like i was not expecting meta someday release such kind of model and it's not gaining a lot of traction like the other models like gemini getting maybe it's the bad marketing or something or maybe the open source curse i don't know but it's really really good i generated a chess board yes i simply selected the chess entire board and this looks interesting one thing i can say is the play Place of all these pawns and you know king and it's incredibly correct like i was testing if this the placement of these things are right and i can say yes all those you know pawns are actually you know placed with perfectly look at me let me zoom that and see you can see right now however sometimes you know the uh, structure of these pawns are a little bit weird but i think it can be improved and this looks seriously good okay so uh, last but not the least another example i took so i forgot to tell you guys so this one is pretty interesting so i took a stock image of a guy and uploaded it to see what kind of human generation we get here and once i generated okay this looks seriously bad i have to be honest here and the human texture looks really bad the body the clothes are perfectly matching but the facial structure looks terribly bad like it's really really bad okay now let's explore this text body option we have already talked about that body one so we just took a photo of a guy playing football and we made a 3d rigid body to actually use in animation and you can look at look at that there are some different joints you can use to animate that so if you don't know much about the blender animation 3d animation you may not get this idea but it's still one of the best thing ai ever did like generative ai's best use case is also this that different 3d is designed without actually selecting and making them meshing for them. those who want open source repo of this model you can simply go to the facebook research account of uh, github if you don't want that link is in the description here you can see different kind of you know examples different contributor names and different you know understanding of how this model works and encoder and all that stuff you can also install this model in one simple installation guide which i'll leave the link in the description you can see this installation guide one thing you can notice is that preq sites are pretty high like you have an nvidia gpu with 32 gb of vram so yeah if you have a 32 gb vram uh, gpu you are good to go to use this model but i'm very sure in the future we in the future upcoming weeks someone will also you know release these model for the low vram version so you have to wait for them but you can also test them in the previous way which i already told you and showed you if you like this video just simply click on like button share it and for more such cutting edge tutorial latest technologies videos every day just subscribe the channel